right there. Yeah, that looks good. Now, another thing I wanted to tell you, I learned this last week on Wikipedia. The size of a prophet's beard was inversely proportional to the size of their wiener. So I thought that was a cool tidbit. So we're going to make, for reality's sake, we're going to make Muhammad, peace be upon him, his beard really big. Oh, heck, let's just go crazy. Oh, yeah. All right, that looks good. Maybe a little, oh, I've run out of paint. Oh, we better fix that. All right, I'm getting excited. I just can't help it. I, I just love painting the prophets. Now, let's go do the mustache, and we'll be just about through with this. Boy, these glasses sure make it hard to paint. All right, now, let's just fade in a little. Not too much. Not too much. Just a little bit. Right there. And, oh, goodness, right there. Shoot. We'll have this thing done in no time. Oh, let's see. A little bit more right beside the... There we go. There we go. A little bit. A little bit right there. A little bit right there. Maybe like there, like there. Coming up right... Okay. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. God's... God's sending me a... He's sending me a word. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with that so far. So, <laughs> let's call it done for now. What we're going to do now is so easy, even a caveman could do it. Uh, anyway, we're going to paint the eyes, the iris, and the pupil. Check this out. It's great. Okay, I'm back. Look what I've got. A circle template. You can get these anywhere. They're great. Watch this. This really speeds up the work. You know, the eyeball there and make it look real nice. Now, all you got to do is just squirt a little paint. Not too much. More around the edge, really. Yeah, we don't want it too dark because we're going to add some color later on. And now, look at that. Near about a perfect circle. Praise God for that one. All right, let's go right where you want it to. All right, sir. Now we need some beady little irises down in there. Just, just pick one and just go with it. Just go with it and see what you get. It could be completely black. We don't care. We don't care. Just fill it in. There you go. Now, I forgot what hole I was using. Just filling it in with black. Oh, how about that? We got some beady little eyes looking out at us. Well, let's go ahead and put this circle template up. Now, the next thing I want to do, I think the next thing we really need to do, oh heck, let's just go put a little eyebrow while we're up here. What do you say? A few eyebrows, a few little hairy. No, we don't make mistakes, remember that. We don't, uh-uh, there's, there's no mistakes going on here. We just have happy little free will misdirections. But now, Let's uh, let's just uh, let's put some hairs up in there. A little bit of you know something like that, and maybe he's got a few more hairs coming off. Ah, uh, make it pretty dark right there. Dark right there. All right, I'm back, and uh, as you can see, I did a little more work on the background, and now I'm gonna zoom in the camera a little bit. Let's see. Let's go down to the to the robe. We're gonna work on the robe next. So I wanna wanna just uh, zoom in a little bit so you can see what we're doing. There. Well, let's go ahead and paint the robe in. Ah, we're just gonna paint it a a lovely shade of sort of a, a royal blue. There we go. Now, what I'm gonna try to do is leave a little light here hidden right there. I'm just gonna kind of come down and just. Leave a little bit, you know, leave a little bit. Don't want to fill it in too much. Don't want to fill it in all at once. Just kind of swoop it down. Could there. you just give it around a bit? And we'll leave it. And we'll leave it. Very close. Okay, okay. Okay. There you go. Okay, fade it down a bit. And if I imagine we're going to call the folds of the rings. All the folds of the rings. Yeah, this time. Just kind of lock it in. Get it. It's thin. It's thin. I'm going to make sure you lock it in here. Maybe there's a hump right there. We don't know. We don't know. We just want to get something down. Now, uh, you know, an uh, interesting thing here at Painting the Prophets is uh, we get a lot of we get a lot of email here, and uh, 
interesting thing. <clears throat> we get a lot of hate mail. Uh, and uh, you might not believe that, but, uh, but we certainly do. We get a lot of hate mail at paying the profits because, well, quite frankly, uh, you know, people, uh, people just, uh, well, they just, they just aren't very nice to us here sometimes. But uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the main, uh, the main thing we get here mostly. I'll tell you the main thing we get. You, you'd probably be amazed at this, but uh, the main thing we get uh, in our hate mail is uh, they t they say uh, they say Tom, uh, we. We, uh, we don't understand how it is that you profess to paint the prophets. How do you know what they looked like? How do you know what any of the prophets looked like? Don't you think that's a little presumptuous? Don't you think that's a little arrogant? That you presume to be able to paint the prophets, their faces? And, and, and don't you think that's just, just a little cocky on your part? How would you know? How, you don't have the first clue about what the prophets really looked like. And you know what? There's a long answer to that, which starts off with artistic license. Artistic license is what gives me the ability to paint the prophets. Artistic license, okay? Artistic license, reaching down, Reaching down way deep into the Spirit with God's guidance and holy imagination and going down into the very depths of human imagination and human empathy with the guidance of the Holy Spirit and looking back in time we knew what they ate. We knew what they drank. We knew what they did. We know what they wrote. God giving me a word and looking back through the doors of time and seeing the prophet in my mind's eye with the ability to interpret it as I see fit to bring out the very essence of the prophet to pull together and resurrect the glorious moments in the life of the prophet. God has given me this gift. Normally I don't uh, take the time to write out the long version. I just type out, fuck off and die, you bitch. But, you know, I try. I get a little crazy sometimes, though. Uh, let's keep working on this robe, okay? Just about got it blocked in. Just about... I'm going to get real close on this side. Real close. Boy, isn't this fun? Just just painting it right in there. I don't think it could get any more, more exciting than this. All right. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and darken this up a little bit more. 